Hi, it's Anna with Create Your Future. Today I want to address something that has been a big topic on the internet since we figured out about manifestation on the internet and it continues creating confusion for you guys and I keep getting questions about this and um, it needs to be addressed and that is about obsessing about your manifestation obsessing about your SP and that you shouldn't be obsessing about it and you shouldn't be thinking too much about it because it somehow pushes them away and it makes it sound like you shouldn't be wanting what you actually want and I don't think that's fair. So uh, before I start talking about it, remember that we are giving away free sessions the details about it are in the description box below and if you would like me to help you with any of your manifestations you're very welcome to book a coaching session with me again from the link in the description box below so the question i keep uh, getting is should i be um first of all what it means to be obsessed about a manifestation and should I be thinking about my SP too much? And people are worried that if they think too much about their SP, it will push the SP away. First of all, um, I know that there are people on the internet who tell you that you shouldn't be obsessed about your manifestation and what it means to be obsessed about your manifestation. I really don't know. And I also don't know what it means to manifest, uh, not want your manifestation too much. If you don't want it enough, why even bother to manifest it? So for me, even that question is unnecessary. It creates unnecessary assumptions and it creates unnecessary fears. And also, what is too much? When is it too much to think about something? I really don't know. That. I, <laughs> my suggestion is to stop worrying about whether or not you are obsessed about it, whether or not you think too much about it. Because it's not how much you think about something or how much you obsess about something. It's how much you think about from, from the wish fulfilled compared to how much you think from the wish not fulfilled. That is the question. Uh, and to be honest, I have manifested everything that I have manifested. You could say I was obsessed about it because if I have a desire and if the desire is not strong enough for me to do the work to manifest it, for me to do the work to focus, to concentrate, to create affirmations, to find my limiting beliefs, to get rid of them, then I don't want it, you know? So I don't, I don't understand this obsession about obsession in manifesting because... If you think you're obsessed about your SP and you think about them all day, of course you do. Otherwise, why do you want them? Otherwise, why are you manifesting them at all? So please don't worry about it if you're one of the those who have been confused about whether or not you should be thinking too much about your SP. Yes, you should. Otherwise, again, why do you want them? Um, and... and there's a reason you want the person you want. So let's talk about manifesting and how, how it works. So for me, the problem is not how much you think about them. You could be thinking about them all day. But as I said before, I want you to figure out for yourself what you're thinking and what you're affirming because your um, common thoughts are also affirmations. So whatever you're thinking, that's what you're affirming. So are you affirming the presence of your SP or are you affirming the lack of your SP? That is the problem because if you 
And, and also, if you create the affirmation that, uh, if you create the assumption that uh, if I think about them too much and I can't manifest them, then guess what? That's going to manifest. So instead of making unnecessary assumptions and creating unnecessary questions and also unnecessary fears, let's uh, talk about what's important. And what's important is that your imagination creates your imagination manifests, actually, and it doesn't care how much you think of something. It cares about what you're thinking. So, again, are you think are you too focused on your limitations, on the, your current reality, or are you affirming the presence? Are you affirming your end goal? Are you affirming the contact? Are you affirming the love and the respect and whatever it is you're manifesting? Because if you are affirming your end goal all day long, then guess what? That is going to push it out. So if you are worried about that you're affirming too much, then like, it really makes no sense for me because you should be affirming all... No, you shouldn't be affirming all day long. But if you are affirming your end goal all day long, it's just going to help you manifest it even uh, quicker. It's just... It just means that you're focused on your end goal. But here's the thing. And this is probably, probably what they mean that if you're obsessed, you're going to push them away. I, I, I don't know. Please tell me if this is how you understand it in the comments, that if you're affirming all day long, but still you feel bad, you feel the lack, then there's something off there. You're either either affirming, uh, but somehow you're still too focused on the current situation th so that it creates um, this uh, un uncomfortable feeling of you not having it. Or, or you are, um, you haven't figured out your, um, your specific blocks about the situation. So you're probably affirming about something that isn't resolving the problem. So this could be also it. But uh, again, it has nothing to, to do with being obsessed or not being obsessed. Uh, and that manifesting or pushing them away. So if you are focused on your end goal, and if you're focused on your end goal and you're affirming exactly what you need to be affirming for that situation, it creates a state. And that state, of course, makes you feel good because you're, uh, you're manifesting something that will make you feel good. No one manifests, so, uh, no one consciously manifests something that won't, Make, you f make them feel good. So if that's the case and you're doing that all day, please continue doing it because it's going to manifest even quicker. But if the problem is that you're affirming all day long but you still feel bad and it's still not coming, then you're somehow focused on the wrong thing. And um, y you need to be figuring out what, um, what your desire actually is. Like, be very... Mm, not specific, but uh, understand for yourself exactly what you want. And this is also a problem in uh, manifestation because some uh, some people have difficulties figuring out what is it exactly uh, I want out of the situation. Because when you formulate the phrase, it makes things clearer for you. Maybe that's the problem. Or you uh, you haven't gone deep enough into the... Hmm. In the situ into the situation and your beliefs and your thoughts and maybe you're not paying attention to what you are thinking in between your uh, affirmations. So what could be happening is that you're unconsciously focused too much on the lack and that creates the uh, uncomfortable negative state you're in. Because whatever you're focused on the most creates that state and that state manifests. Um, 
if you are affirming your end goal but you feel bad that feeling again comes from your thoughts because it's first thoughts that creates a feeling you're probably focused on the wrong thing and it's not a problem because so as soon as you understand it you know what to uh, work on so um, don't be too worried about it and please stop worrying about being obsessed uh, about your SP or about any other thing that you're manifesting. It's not the obsession that pushes them away. It's the focus on the lack of it that pushes them away, which again isn't a problem. As soon as you figure out what you're doing in your mind and you correct it, your manifestation will go in that direction. And as always, as I always say this, no matter how hard, how difficult, how impossible your situation feels, when you uh, find out your limitations and you understand what to do to correct them and you start doing the work, your manifestation will go in the right direction. So even, even if your situation feels hopeless, it's not. It's not, there's no situation you can't uh, change around. So again, if, if you continue worrying about, oh my God, how much should I be affirming? Am I affirming too much? Am I, uh, am I affirming t too little? Those are not the right questions. The right question is, what am I mostly focused on? What am I affirming mostly? The lack of it or the presence of it? And that balance, balance or that disbalance uh, manifests that reality. You need to be creating a disbalance, a healthy, a good, right disbalance between uh, thinking from the end and thinking, thinking from the wish fulfilled and thinking from the wish not fulfilled. When the thinking from the wish fulfilled uh, becomes more dominant than the other, it will manifest. So the more you think of it, the more you focus on it, the better it is, the quicker your manifestation comes. So I really hope this helped to stop worrying about unnecessary things. There are a lot of uh, beliefs about manifestation that creates unnecessary worries, unnecessary fears for people who are manifesting their SP and other important things. Um, so please simplify it. Go back to the basics. Ask yourself, what am I focused on? That manifests, that's it. So I really, really hope this uh, inspired you. And again, if uh, I can help you with any of your manifestations, please um, feel free to uh, book a coaching session with me from the link in the description box below and have a beautiful day.